What's going on everybody? Welcome to Kev's Kitchen. This is episode three. Thanks for tuning in. Um, got a good little meal for you guys tonight. Hopefully you guys like fish tacos. If you don't, fuck off my channel, all right? So tonight we're gonna make black and mahi fillets, all right? And eventually we're gonna make fish tacos out of that. So what you need over here, obviously we got the mahi already. Now I know all you little guys are probably looking at this, these two over here like, oh, I wanna eat those, but nah, these are mine, all right? These are the big boy fillets right here. Um, I haven't really found a single blackened seasoning that I do like that covers it all. So I mixed three. We got Chef Paul's, we got Phillips, and we got Old Bay blackened seasoning. Um, if you're from out in the East Coast, specifically the Del Marva region, you know all about Old Bay. We use a little bit of EVOO, whatever brand you want. And we already got the pan over here heating up on on a medium high. So you wanna set your stove to about six. Um, it's pretty simple. Now, it's just very easy to cook, all right, guys? You really don't have to do much of anything. So, um, you take your fillets, you lay them down. And all you're really gonna do is leave them for about four to five minutes on each side. And as soon as you're done, you flip it and we're gonna do another four to five minutes. Um, and I could probably actually fit all of these, so I'm just gonna go throw these, these little guy fillets on here as well. Um, you know, not trying to discriminate. And if you don't wanna know what kind of pan this is, I don't know the name of it, but I know we got it at Target. They're pretty good, um, really good pan. Little tea in the middle, of those little, uh, I don't know, it, it's some, some, you know, high tech cooking bullshit. But anyway, it's a really good pan. Get it, look for that tea. Um, so it's uh, 718, I'm gonna let them cook. I'm gonna check on them in a minute. Now you guys know what I always say, a clean, a clean kitchen is a good kitchen, all right? So until, while that's cooking over there, I'm gonna rinse this off, okay? Because why not be productive with your time, right? Instead of just standing around looking stupid and waiting for it to cook, take time. By the time you turn around, it'll be ready to flip, all right? All right, so we, um, Time's about up now. We're just about to flip the other pieces. Uh, I did flip the little guys already because they're gonna get cooked a little bit quicker. And um, little tip: once you start cooking a little more, learn your cookware or learn your learn your equipment. Okay, so the stove is a little. Our stove heats up pretty quick, so I um, I flipped it early because I know that it would overdo it. So now we're gonna get over here. As you can see, the one guy, the little guys are already pretty black. Um, and that's all you need to do. That's a nice looking fillet right there. That's what you call butter. All right, and then uh, you flip the other one, all right? And anytime you see something that looks delicious, you call that butter, okay? So you eat in a steak and it's tender, butter. You, you look at my blackened fillets, butter. Anything I cook is, is always butter, all right, guys? Um, and like I said, I did clean up earlier while we were waiting, so I even had a conversation with my camera woman, so I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's a lot you can get done if you're not bullshitting, all right? Be productive in the kitchen. And you guys might be hating, all right? Um, this is a gift from my brother. Shout out to my little brother. Go follow him. I always put his shit in my uh, my comments. But um, he got me this for Christmas. Raiders all day. You guys already know. Derek Carr didn't get hurt. We might have been playing this weekend. But other than that, um, if you're a little girly boy out there hating, talking about, oh, he's wearing an apron, blah, 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 blah. Eat a dick, all right? Girls like men who aren't afraid to wear aprons and things like that, okay? I, I wear aprons for anything, motherfucker. So I'll wear aprons to church if I wanted to. Anyway, when we come back, we'll be done. And I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble a real fish taco, all right? All right, welcome back. We just finished the uh, mahi fillets over here. Obviously, just from the looks of the camera and 1080 HD uh, definition there. Um, 1080p HD definition is what I meant to say. Butter, all right? So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble a real fish taco, okay? For starters, real fish tacos, flour or corn tortillas, not flour, okay? Um, a lot of places will give you flour. Eh, it's cool. Eh, it's Americanized. And no offense, I mess with them too. Right? I like them all. Um, but you know, for all my my fellow Hispanic uh, hermanos and hermanas, you know, they know it's corn. So what you need, real quick. Obviously, you need your fish. Um, you can have assortment of other things: lettuce, tomatoes, if you want. Queso fresco. Okay, that's real. That's real uh, Mexican cheese. You use shredded cheese if you want. I, I, you know, I have it out here so you can see. But you know, I'm gonna put this on there. So, what I'm gonna do for starters is take a little bit and just start, you know, breaking it up. All right. 
and I'm probably going to need a little bit more. So I'm going to take one of these little boy ones here and then cut another piece. And then we're just going to break it up some more. Okay. So once you get enough fish, you know, to fill your taco, um, if you're really about it, a little bit of lime, all right? Squeeze that lime on there. And then you can, um, basically, it's up to you what you decide to put uh, after that. Um, what I'm going to do, though, I'll go cheese first, um, just because I feel like it. So this cheese breaks up a little more. If you... If you uh, if you had feta cheese, it's very similar to that. You know, kind of kind of has a consistency of that. So um, we clean our hands there. And add lettuce. You know, make sure you add enough lettuce to that thing. All right, ain't nothing wrong with putting lettuce. Um, the more the merrier. I don't think I'm feeling tomatoes, so I'm just gonna put um, just a little bit of sour cream. All right now. Um, there is a difference, you know, there's crema, which is more Mexican, but I'm just going to use sour cream for today because we don't have any actually, so I live in Delaware, there's not a lot in here, so, um, actually, you know what, I'm going to go with the tomatoes, let me just put a few in here, whatever, I probably spilled, you probably hear my dog barking in the background, good job superstar, you're messing up my video. Um, last but not least, a little hot sauce if you want. Tapatio is what we carry in the house. Um, shake it up. You know, just put a little bit in there. Nothing serious. All you little guys probably would be scared to eat that. But anyway, that's a fish taco. You roll it up. Fish tacos are going to be way bigger than your normal tacos or your regular street tacos. Just because. Okay? And that's that. I'll take one bite. I normally don't eat on camera. I'm a little self-conscious. But anyway. Mm. Mm. Okay. For starters, butter. And um that hot sauce at the end mixed with the blackened seasoning, which is almost like Cajun inspired. Um ooh, nice little kick to it. Um but yeah, and a little hit of lime, perfect. So if you guys want to make fish tacos for your lady or your guy at home or your family, whatever. Watch this video, play it back a hundred times, get familiar, then you can do it for your own people, all right? And I'm going to put a little list of ingredients that you need at the end of the video, okay? Thanks for tuning in, guys.